Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're in my craft room where we're going to have a brief budget overlook. I know that I was supposed to have financial Fridays last night, but I was just exhausted after the work week. So I apologize for not having a video up last night. I came home and I got in the bed. <laughs> I sure did. I just worn out. Um, so I'm trying to, as I get older, be better about listening to my body. And when my body says stop, I just have to stop because I just don't bounce anymore. <laughs> you don't bounce back after a certain age. Ugh. Not really into the whole getting old thing. <laughs> Today's coffee. Alright, let me explain to you what's going on. So, my yearly insurance for my car has been um, in a locked-in rate for the last three years and was like 600, almost 600, I think. And due to the rise in costs, so they say, to fix cars, repair cars, I guess would be the better word, um, insurance companies, at least here in my state of Virginia, have decided to raise their rates to help cover those costs. So my insurance, I think it used to be like $5.97 for a year, went up to, have we discussed this? We might not have because I've been in shock. $900. And uh, 24, 27, something ridiculous. Hold on, let me get my bill and look at it. I, it, I can't, y'all. $927. Clean record. Never had a ticket a day in my life. Knock on wood. Um, no accidents. My credit score is good. Everything like that. But still... My insurance went from under $600 a year to now $927 for one year. And I called the insurance company and they told me the same thing that I found when I was doing my research. The cost to repair cars has gone up because so many cars have these computer components and extra cameras and extra stuff that just costs more, right? These chips that we were uh, having trouble acquiring in 2020, I don't even know if they can acquire them. We don't know, okay? We just know that everything I've found has said, expect it because the costs have grown. I know for my car specifically, I have like a camera when I hit back up, I can see an aerial view of my car all around it. It's a safety feature. So there's one computer. Then I have a touch screen, you know, that's one computer. You know, so these cars have all these dings and bells and whistles and they're so fun, but you, you pay for them. <laughs> One way or the other, you pay for them. <sighs> anyway, we're going to get off that ramp. So, I usually make my payments one payment a month for three months and get the whole year paid off. So, 927 divided by three ended up being like 309 a month. If we remember, I have 364 saved, and so I went back and forth. Do I just pay the 309 and save the rest, or do I just put it all through and take that extra that I got in my check from overtime and just pay a bigger chunk now and two smaller pay? Back and forth, back and forth. And I decided, you know what? I just want to get this payment over with. I just want to get it over with so that I can start saving for next year's $927. So, 
So, what I've decided to do is take the 364 that I have in my midterm binder and combine it with, um, I'm not exactly sure of the amount, and make one payment of like, I don't know, it was like 570 or something. I don't even remember what the total is. I'll have to look it up. Um, so the first thing I want to do, all of that to say, <laughs> I'm going to grab the cash out of here, take it to the bank, deposit it, and then I'll come back and we will do this week's or this paycheck's budget with me. Spoiler alert, no state, no cash stuffings this week because all of my extra money is going into this car insurance payment. I ultimately came away with the decision that it was better for me to just put it all into that one payment and get that payment down so I can get rid of it and then save versus, oh, well, I'll just pay a little bit now and then I'm stuffing. Well, what am I stuffing for? I'm going to have to rob that to pay the rest. Well, you know, we're not. So let's just grab this money. It's here in my purple binder where I do my annual bills. Okay, it's already open. That's nice. And we should have $364. 50, 70. Gonna need a little bit of sort. Ooh, of sort quick. <sighs> this has been stressing me out for days, y'all. I've been through my budget every which way but loose and I just decided you know what we're going to suffer for a couple of weeks and I'm going to have to charge gas and do all of that but it's it just ultimately it's going to pay off for me in the long run to get this over with as much as possible as soon as possible so 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 190 210 230 250 270 290 310 20 30 40 50 60 1 2 3 4 364 dollars will be taken to the bank And once I return from the bank, we will go through this week's budget and check off the bills that are being paid. And that's about all we've got this week. There is no financial Fridays this week. It may be until after I finish this dang uh, car insurance payment before I can get even get started on I don't know. I don't know. It's just bad. All right, it's February 3rd. Withdraw. 364. That leaves me zero. All right. So I'm going to head to the bank. And I'll be right back. Hi everyone. I'm back from the bank. The money has been taken to the bank. There's my pen I was looking for. Whatever. Alright. So. My car insurance is... Let's move this over. Oh, let's light. Wait a minute. We need more light on this situation. Excuse me. There we go. I'm so sorry. Let me light my candle. Because budgeting is hard. And we just need a calm atmosphere. Okay? Let me have a sip of my cold coffee. It's still semi-warm. 
All right. Car insurance total. It's $927. I just deposited $364. The total payment I want to make is $673. Which leaves two fifty four. Divide that by two more payments. I'm going to have one hundred and twenty seven dollars to make for the next two paychecks. Now, I deposited three hundred and sixty four, but I want to make a payment of six seventy three minus three sixty four equals. I am taking an extra $309, all of my extra money in my paycheck. Zero dollars left to even get toilet paper. A bit extreme, but that's how badly I just want to get this done. So, I'm taking the $364 plus $309 to total $673 that I'm going to pay on my... Um, car insurance this week then I will only have the two payments of 127 left and that my friends is my sad story of the day but in better news let's go ahead and mark off the payments that we have made on our uh, annual bill tracker. Here's my black friend. Oh, do not. Now my boyfriend. That's Jordan King. All right. Let me sign into my iPad and I'll be right back. And if we go over into my regular Every Dollar Counts budget binder, we'll go here first into bill pay checklist and I know that my mortgage will come out automatically so I'm just going to go ahead and mark oops that wasn't very good that that payment has been taken My HOA was paid with the last check. My IRA was taken this month. I've set it up in my uh, bank online banking for it to take $100 on the second of every month. If, it's, if the second falls on a Saturday, they'll take it Friday the 1st, just like any other bill. So, I was worried that they wouldn't start it this month, but they did. So, I've got $200 in my Roth IRA. Big girl. Water is not due this month. Um, car insurance, BJ's. I don't even have BJ's on here. BJ's has not transferred over to my city. And I'm not sure what's going on there. They usually take a while, but I'm still making payments on that card. And it will just transfer over whatever I have um, as a balance when they decide to do that. I don't, I don't know. Amazon, I do have a balance on that again, even though I put it on City. I'm going to be paying that. Walmart, I'm going to be paying that. Yes, I had to survive, so I did put some things back on the Amazon, but once I get past this ridiculous car insurance, I am going to pour everything I have into the small balance that I now have back on my Amazon card. <coughs> then 
Most of it's going to go towards uh, Walmart, Best Buy. Then when I get those paid off, I'm going to put it towards the uh, city and Virginia Credit Union credit cards. All right, so now that I have all of that colored in, um, I did go ahead and color in my 30-day no spend. Um, I've got a buffer in my checking in case I need anything. I did have to charge gas and... You know, there are things that I'm going to have to charge. It's just one season, you know, one paycheck. Let's just, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> doing what I can. Um, I created this, I, or I, not created, but updated my cash stuffing to match all of my wallet and my envelopes. I put it on a black background because I love the way the colors pop off of it. Yeah, we have issues. This is what I thought I was going to be stuffing. No. No. I still owe you 19 and 2 for save the date. We're going to um, look at the weather one as well. This one I had to redo because I tried to turn it black and it it yeah it messed it up now I don't have any of my numbers in my piggies we have to fix that at a later date don't have time for that 19 and 2 I owe you 19 and 2 I couldn't remember why I didn't color in 19 because I didn't have 19 last paycheck to pay you. Now I don't have 19 this paycheck to pay you because I'm trying to get rid of my car insurance. By the 16th, you're going to hopefully get something. We'll see what we can do. Um, February 1st, the low was 28 so I owe you $28 on that. My retirement funds... We had $100 as our opening balance. $100 was deposited or taken from my checking account. So, we're going to color in Grandma. Four of them. Will we do all of them green? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we feel like. But it's going to be really fun to watch this, the colors fill in on this page. <coughs> I'd much, much rather suffer a little bit right now to make, make sure that I have what I need as I get older. And once I retire. Because it's going to be a little rough. So, it probably seems like the end of the world. I've been in worse situations. Everything is fine. I will catch up eventually. Um, you know, I have opportunity to work overtime. I have opportunity to sell things. I have, you know, all kinds of things that I can do to help myself get caught up. Um, but I'm just taking it slow and steady and uh taking care of things as i need to so, all right guys so that's about it for today's video i just wanted to show you what it's like to have a real low income cash stuffing in a season where you have a big bill and you have to prioritize it there's no cash stuffing there's no cash left to be have Yes, I have $54 in my checking account as a buffer in case I need something. And when there's something that I absolutely need, food, water, shelter, you know, then I would use that as needed. Putting gas in my car, filling up for $30, $40 will be on the credit card. Once I get past this season of paying off my car insurance, I'm going to focus solely on on this credit card, making minimum minimum, pa mm, minimum payments on my other credit cards, pay this one down, then go back, look at my balances on my other credit cards, and we'll reassess there. And maybe by that point, we can start cash stuffing. But for right now, I have the record. 
of what I owe, my cash savings, here on my iPad. We will get there. It's just not going to happen in the order that I would like for it to happen, but it's going to happen because I am determined, and I'm going to be disciplined. So, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I love gaining new friends, and until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Bye, everyone. For more information on my budget series, look in my playlist for uh, my playlist called Budget With Me. That will give you ideas of how I work my budget, how I stuff my envelopes, all of that. Today's video was simply a way to show you that on a true low income, sometimes there's going to be a season where you aren't going to stuff. Stay determined. Stay focused. You've got this. See you in the next one. Bye, everyone.